in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Your spirit. Well, we welcome our confirmation candidates, their parents, sponsors, and family members, as well as those viewing our ceremony on live stream. We're happy to have you with us. And in a very special way, we welcome you, Bishop Peter. He's our Vicar General for the Archdiocese, our moderator of the Curia, and we're very happy to have you to celebrate the Sacrament of Confirmation with us. Thank you, Father Bob. A pleasure to be with all of you today. We gather mindful that our God is here with us, inviting us to open our hearts to him in prayer. We pause, acknowledge his presence, and ask his blessing. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make, us, make of us a perfect temple of his glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our scripture readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide fairly for the lands afflicted. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who 
who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As the body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit, the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. I now invite the candidates for confirmation to please stand. Bishop Peter, I present to you these candidates for confirmation of Holy Family Parish here in Duxbury. Thank you, Father Bob. Congratulations, candidates. Please be seated. Many people have their own special favorite author. You may have one yourself. One of the authors that is one of my favorite is C.S. Lewis. You may be familiar with his Chronicles of Narnia. Do you remember the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe? C.S. Lewis's wonderful story of four siblings who visit a large country home during wartime in England. Peter, Lucy, Edmund, and Susan. They find in the house an intriguing huge wardrobe, stand-up closet. When they pass through its door and out the other side, they find themselves in a strange land a land in desperate need of a rescue mission in which they are asked to play a part. The door is an opening to an adventure, and once they pass through the door, their lives are changed forever. In the Bible, Christian life is often depicted, described, as a passageway, a passage from a former way of living to a new way of life. 
leaving the way of godlessness behind and passing into a new life, life with Jesus Christ. Receiving confirmation is like passing through a door, leaving behind the ways of childhood and embracing the ways of being an adult Christian, an adult Catholic. In the last book of the Bible, Jesus himself speaks about a door. Here I stand knocking at the door. If anyone hears me and opens the door, then I will enter his house and we will dine. It is the door of our hearts at which the one who stands knocking and waiting for entrance is Jesus himself. Why is he knocking, you might ask? St. John tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. God sent Jesus to save us that we might not perish, but have eternal life. But you know, down deep in every human heart, there's a nagging doubt. Why would God want to save me? Am I worthy? Who am I that God would want to save me? But we're taught that God comes not because of any worthy deed we might have done, but he comes because of his generous love, because he wants to come. He wants to save us. We remember the story from scripture. God placed Adam in the garden, gave him Eve, gave him the land to till and water to drink. Adam was ungrateful unfaithful to God, Adam sinned. But God did not give up on the human race. With arm outstretched and power in his hand, he came back again and again to invite his people back to him. He parted the sea and brought Israel out of slavery. Despite that their hearts were not constant toward him, they fell back out of faithfulness and into sin. But the God of compassion forgave their sin time and time again. He sent prophets to teach them and lead them. They continued to rebel in his instructions they did not heed. But give up he did not. He sent his son. They will listen to my son. St. Paul puts it this way, God proves his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This is the promise of mercy. This is the promise fulfilled. Jesus did not come because we were holy or worthy. Jesus came because We were in need of being rescued, in need of being saved. Down deep in our cluttered hearts, there are many wants, needs, and longings, but the deepest longing is for that which only God can give. The deepest longing is for God himself, that he, will ultimately save us. The prayer of longing echoes through the prayers of old, the scriptures and the Psalms. In my distress, I call to the Lord. I call to my God for help. My cry came to his ears. From on high, he reached down and drew me forth from the mighty waters. He saved me because he loved me. This God, rich in mercy and strong in love, has sent his Son, who
who has come to reveal the face of mercy to us. The face of mercy to us. Jesus Christ is the face of mercy. The word made flesh. He is the incarnation of God's mercy. How much does he love us? This much, says he, as he stretches out his arms on the cross. The cross puts to death our rebellious nature and calls us to respond in faith, in response to mercy, loving mercy. This Jesus stands at the door and knocks. He is knocking at the door of your heart and mine, patiently waiting for us to unlock the latch and let him in. He wants to eliminate all the barriers, all the obstacles between him and us. He wants to wipe away our sins. He calls us to be renewed in him through the sacraments, especially the sacrament of reconciliation and the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. There's a great scene toward the end of the film, The Lord of the Rings. Frodo throws the evil ring into the fiery pit at Mount Doom, completing his long and difficult mission. And there he is, dangling by one hand from the rugged wall of rock. Is he alone? Is there anyone else with him? Stretching out his arm to pull him up is his good friend, Samwise Gamgee. Well, here they are at the edge of the world. Sam reaches down. Take my hand. Give me your hand. Don't you let go. Reach. To what extent was Sam willing to demonstrate his faithful friendship? To what length was he willing to go? All the way to Mordor. All the way to Mount Doom. We look at the cross we see what length Christ was willing to go to prove his love. In loving mercy, Christ comes to reach out his arm over the cliff, over the cliff of our challenges and difficulties, over the cliff of our concerns, disappointments, and sorrows. He reaches out to you and to me. Give me your hand. Take my hand. Don't you let go. I come to save you. By passing through the door of the wardrobe, Peter, Lucy, Edmund, and Susan's lives were changed forever. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he is the door. He wants to change your life and mine forever. Come, says he, come to the Father through me. At this time, we have the actual confirmation ceremony. If I could ask the candidates and their sponsors to please stand for the profession of faith. This is the renewal of your baptismal promises. 
the, what were made by your parents or godparents, or if you received baptism as an adult by yourself. Uh, the, it's, the format is in the form of questions, and the response to each question is, I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> you can say it a little louder than that. <laughs> All right, let's find the right page here. And now before you receive the Spirit, we ask you to call to mind the faith which you professed in baptism or which your parents and godparents professed with the church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who this day, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. My brothers and sisters, this is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now we have the prayer over the candidates. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God the Almighty Father for these his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life and baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water in the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, we have the anointing of each one of the candidates. And I need my miter. wants to come first. Brave soul. How are you doing today? Congratulations. Joseph. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you doing today? Good. I like your mask. Hey, match. The name? Francis? Oh, the Pope would love that. 
Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Do they need to remain standing? Do they need to remain standing? You tell them to sit down. And how are you today? You're welcome to be seated. forward. Shabel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Very good. Congratulations. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Come forward. Okay. That's great. And the name? Isaac. Isaac. That's a strong name. Isaac, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. And how are you doing today? Good. Good. The name? Elizabeth. Come forward. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. be with you. Very good. Congratulations. I like your cross. It's beautiful. Come forward. Your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. I like your tie. <laughs> Come forward. In the name. Cornelius. Cornelius. That's nice. That's a great scent. Cornelius, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Okay, we go to... How are you doing today? Good, I like your cross. Yeah, yours too. The name? Catherine. Come forward. Catherine, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good, congratulations.
Thomas be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. God bless you. Hi there. How you doing? Come right forward. I like your tie. The name? Patrick. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. How are you doing today? Good, very good. Teresa, come forward. You look lovely. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good, congratulations. Don't you look sharp today? <laughs> My name? David. Great name. David, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Hi there. How are you doing? Good. Come forward. Your name? Edward. Edward. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Very good. Congratulations. Sorry. Okay. today. Very good. The name? Francis. Francis. Well, the Pope would love that. <laughs> Francis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Very good. Congratulations. Is that it? Okay. At this time, we ask you to please stand for our prayer for the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly pray to God, the Almighty Father, and be one of mind and heart just as faith, hope, and charity, which proceeded from the Holy Spirit, are one. For these daughters and sons of God, confirmed by the, whole, by the gift of the Holy Spirit, that they may give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the families of the newly confirmed who led them in faith, that by word and example they may always encourage them on the way of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Church of God, here and throughout the world, that God, who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit, may help us grow in the unity of faith and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering members of this community, and in a special way, for family members of those here today and those viewing online, 
May our care and concern for them be a source of support and strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the increase of vocations to the priesthood, the diaconate and consecrated life, may more young men and women hear Christ's call to service and love in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering all our petitions that lay deep in our heart and bringing them to one voice as our Lord Jesus taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Before we have the final blessing, ask Father Bob to say a few words. Well, we want to first thank you very much, Bishop Peter, for celebrating so well for us the Sacrament of Confirmation today. We're grateful, too, for all of those who have helped prepare our candidates for this sacrament, their parents, their sponsors, and teachers, our Youth Faith Formation Minister, Matt Bensman, and Director of Faith Formation, Jean Cregan. And a special word of thanks goes out to all who help make this liturgy such a special joy-filled celebration, especially the members of our music ministry. And one final bit of instruction, to exit the church, we invite you to please wait and follow the invitation of your seating ambassador. We will exit the church row by row, keeping separated six feet apart. And as the Lord reminds us, the last shall be first. So those seated in the back will exit first, then the middle sections will exit by way of the front door. Those on the parking lot side will exit through those doors. And those on this Chestnut Street side will just want to wait until the other sections have exited, and then you can exit either through the front or the side doors. We invite you to enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Father Bob. Thank you for what you do here. Thank Father Tom for his service here as well, and Deacon Don and the music ministry and all that, that help in faith formation here at Holy Family Parish. And thank you all for joining us today and spreading the faith in your families and in your lives. Bow down your head for God's blessing. Response to each prayer is amen. May God, the Almighty Father, bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit. May he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joys of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God.